when I was little, I was a good sleeper. I pretty young. I started sleeping through the night. My parents are Scandinavian. They're very strict. And I'm telling you, up until I was about 12 or 13, you were in bed by 8 o'clock, just the way it was back then. And now I don't sleep very well. Well, I had a work-related accident where they, where I got crushed by a forklift, and they didn't think I'd be able to walk again. So there's like pain um, associated with that that just wakes me up. And I think it's to an aging thing. As you get older, it's it's harder to sleep. And coming to school, the homework assignments like that, I get about five hours of sleep. I need about eight hours of sleep. I need to eat pretty good and have about eight hours of sleep. So I'm drained all the time. And then when I go home, I'm just so happy to sit down. But I have you have other responsibilities like walking my dog and that sort of thing. So um, I find it hard to keep focused on sometimes tasks at hand because I'm too tired. And then when you get too tired, then you get cranky. And so you begin to fight with yourself. You kind of lose your enthusiasm sometimes when you're looking forward to do things just because you're so tired. So when I got injured at work, it was that time that I couldn't sleep and I was just stressed out. You were stressed out about work and um, just whether you were going to be able to walk again, that sort of thing. And then too, my daughter was off just to college and then you worry about her first time away from home. So all that stress led to, the, I guess, kind of like an anxiety and it just made it so, I just always wanted to be on and not be able to sleep. There was just no way to sort of just lie down and relax. And so it got to a point where if you sat down, like say after dinner or you're having a cup of tea in the afternoon, all of a sudden you just pass out. That again relates to not being able to have a good night's sleep. I get outside to get as much sunshine as I can, walk my dog, I um, volunteer, I, I lay, I put ground rules as to when my assignments have to be finished and that just calms me down so that I can function a lot better. Get out and get the fresh air and just take the dog, take your neighbor's dog, whatever, just leave everything behind, unplug all that social media, put it all down and just go for a nice walk. So for a while I was having my my um, iPad and my, my cell phone It'd be on the pillow beside me or in front of the pillow right beside me. I don't know, your your mind I think is, is I gotta answer that. I heard heard a noise, I better answer that. And so that interrupts your sleep or really we don't need to be that no, nosy as to what's going on on Facebook and social media. It's gonna be there in the morning. So for me it was just put that in another room, it's time to sleep. It's like shut that stuff down because then you can shut down and get a good sleep.